Somewhere between the edge of being alive and feeling dead Welcome back to the channel. Today's video we are talking about getting service done on our Tesla Model 3. Uh, we live uh, as I've mentioned in many other videos, a good eight hours away from the closest service center. Uh, we've got one down in Vancouver. We've got one over across there in Edmonton. Both of them are far away. Um, and so getting service is not always easy. Now, uh, what I ended up uh, having a problem with on my Tesla Model 3 was the PTC heater. Um, since I have a 2020 model, I believe 2021, uh, they started using the heat pump. So I have the old uh, resistive heater, you know, it's like a baseboard. Uh, maybe I'll put a picture on the screen of what it looks like. But anyways, I uh, started getting some problems uh, where heat was not working. Uh, this is near the beginning of April. So, you know, good thing that it didn't happen when it was minus 30 when I was doing one of those videos. But uh, anyways, um, I do a lot of driving in all kinds of conditions. I've got 130,000 kilometers on this uh, Tesla Model 3. And... Uh, do all kinds of hiking and lots of uh, backcountry driving and long distance driving uh, all over the place, all over British Columbia. I've been in Alberta, I've been in Saskatchewan, I've been in Manitoba. In places that are hard to get to, gravel roads, you'll see all the footage in there as I'm talking. But anyways, what we're going to talk about in this video is how did I get service? Now, there's a couple things going on here. So first of all, I made plans to uh, get this done with a third party shop here in Prince George, BC. Um, the other option is to do a service appointment with Tesla. And uh, you know now then you have to make plans to drive eight hours. So it's, you're obviously not gonna get that done in a day, right? Drive eight hours, stay in a hotel. Hopefully they get it fixed in that day, drive back. That's a lot of money, it's a lot of time spent. So I thought, well, this is a good opportunity to check out Rivers Edge Services. And they're uh, EV certified. They've got all kinds of courses they've taken down at uh, BCIT, uh, down in the Vancouver area. And uh, they've got a good reputation. So I thought, let's give them a try. And uh, so I scheduled that appointment. It took a good month to get the part from Tesla. They uh, have an account set up on the website, uh, EPC tesla.com I believe that's the electronic parts counter and it took a month just to get that PTC heater not sure why it took so long anyways uh, finally got that work done today and we'll go through all the uh, pictures and video clips from the moment I had a problem to how I knew I had a problem to getting the service uh, scheduled with Rivers Edge how much they charged in the meantime while I set up that appointment with Rivers Edge um, interestingly enough with our little uh, Northern BC Tesla Facebook group. Uh, one of the guys here in town mentioned that he had reached out to mobile service and they had agreed that if they got enough customers needing work done, they would drive up here and spend a day or two doing some service. I had already committed to River's Edge, so I, I just decided to keep that because it's hit and miss in terms of if Tesla mobile service will come here or not. Um, ever since I moved up here in 2020, uh, or ever since I got the car up here in 2020 when COVID hit, they stopped coming up here. They refused to come up here. We contacted them multiple times. So this is the first time that since uh, 2020 that they were willing to do it. So that's fantastic. Uh, if, if they can keep doing that, that would be great. But uh, in the meantime, it's good to know if there's other options as well, how much they cost. And, uh, you know, is it worth the hassle going through Tesla, the price difference, all that kind of thing. Let's get into it in this video. All right, guys, so uh, you're going to see here, I went into the uh, hidden service menu, and you'll see here from these pictures, I got this VC Wright A538, VC Wright A262 PTC faulted HVAC system, not nominal. And uh, in the service menu, I went into the thermal management, and you'll see from video clips here in a minute, I uh, ran some system tests, one of them passed, the other one failed, and that's where I, I mean, I already knew the heat wasn't working, but this confirmed in the software that something was wrong with the PTC heater. And that's when we proceeded with uh, figuring out, okay, how are we gonna get this serviced? Uh, I could do it myself, I could go to River's Edge, or I could get Tesla to do it. 
and I chose to go with River's Edge once I found out the price and how much labor they were charging. They're not making a whole lot of money and it was just not worth my hassle to do it. Duct outlet temperature did not meet the values. PTC heater reports an internal fault. That's not good. Test thermal performance. Thermal performance worked, but uh, I guess the HVAC performance did not. We'll try that one more time, just to see what happens. And HVAC failed. Okay, guys, so you can see here after the test. Uh, the initial test they failed again and uh, then brought the car to River's Edge they put it into service mode as you can see in the picture there and uh, uh, invoice and the price was uh, very reasonable and from there you'll see uh, I ran the tests again and everything seemed to go well so I was quite happy with the service and it's really great to have some local service it's why it's really important to have third-party shops being able to work on your vehicle uh, that you should not have to rely on Tesla, especially when you live so far away and they don't have service that's here. Uh, There's definitely a, a bonus to have this. There we go. Okay, let's run that routine. And see what we get. Excellent, and then let's do the thermal test. Looks like it's almost wrapped up on the thermal test and that one's passed. So we are good. We are done. Thanks for watching the video. Now have the confidence to travel in cold weather again with my cabin heater all fixed. And uh, so doing those minus 30 Celsius videos and all that kind of thing. Back in business. And uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please subscribe to the channel. Leave comments below if you have any questions. And please click that like button. Thanks. Bye.